Hello, I'm Vivette, and today I want to show you something for the PSP. Um, it has been like two years since the last update for PSP Custom Firmware was released. I think except for like the Pro version, I think that one got one update. But yeah, um, this is my PSP Go. It is running the firmware 6.60. And as you can see, I've installed the light speed mod, which enables me to launch the LME custom firmware for the firmware 6.60 via an XMB icon, like you just, like you've just seen. Now I'm running the 6.60 LME custom firmware. Okay, I have still the spoofer enabled. Let's see. Configuration. Fake firmware version off. Spoof MAC address off. There we go. 6.60 LME 1.8. As you can see, it reads my ISO games and whatsoever. I can start homebrews and so on. Now what I want to show you is, um, I'm using the Chrono Switch downgrader. And we'll downgrade my PSP to firmware 6.20. Sad firmware version should be well known for the ability to use the permanent patch at the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, 3000, oh, 4G, PSP, Go, and VR some forced downgrading all to the PSP 3000, 09G. So basically, three of the four possible PSP 3000s can use the permanent patch, and every PSP 1000, 2000, and Go to only the PSP. E1000 cannot use the permanent patch. Okay, I'm now installing the firmware 6.20. And while it's installing, well, while it's installing, I think I will just drink a bit. If you're asking yourself why I'm installing the Farmer 6.20, even though I was at the higher Farmer 6.60 and had access to a custom Farmer, the answer is pretty simple. If you have an old PSP, a 1000 or 2000, you can install a full 6.60 custom Farmer, be it the Mi or the Pro custom Farmer, whatever. But if you have a newer PSP, like the Devil version of the PSP 2000, any 3000 Go or E1000, you cannot install a full custom IPL custom firmware. For these farmers, one should just install the firmware 6.20 if possible and can use the permanent patch. It behaves basically like a full custom firmware, the only difference is it's basically an auto booting light custom firmware. Okay, the firmware 6.20 should now be installed, even though the flashing Bluetooth LED is kind of scaring me. I'm not sure why it's flashing. And I'm not sure why the brightness of the screen is suddenly 100%. 
That's kind of weird. But the dome reader is working. I've used it a lot of times. So yeah, should be normal. Okay, the update is done. Now press X to restart the PSP. Okay. Now the settings should be corrupted. There we go. And press circle to restore to default settings. The PSP should reboot and I should have to enter like the language, time zone and whatsoever. And now I'm running the power 6.20. The Curio, Curio music icon is missing and if I try to access the PlayStation Store it will say... No, at first I have to access the Wi-Fi, whatever. This is the Farmer 6.20 and now let's see. And let me install it for 6.20. Usually this does not exist. But now it exists. I personally am very happy that there is now a 6.20 version of the LME custom farmer because the Mi custom farmer and the LME custom farmer are my favorite custom farmers. The Pro is okay, but I really prefer the LME custom farmer. Next I'm using the LME Custom Farmer Launcher and then I'm running the Farmer 6.20 LME 1.8. The only thing which is currently missing is the permanent patch but it's currently worked on so one can have permanent LME Custom Farmer on nearly every PSP pretty soon. Just changing some settings. And as you can see, version 6.20 LME 1.8. If I check the configurations, the Spoof Farmer version is disabled and the Spoof Mac version is also disabled. Most plugins should be still working, even though they would be for the Farmer 6.60, and yet the plugins are working. So basically every function of the Mi Custom Farmer is ported to the Farmer 6.20. And this is kind of what I love about the LME Custom Farmer. If you press select in the recovery menu, you go back to the previous menu. So you can pretty much configure your stuff, press select to go back without having to scroll up to the top and press exit. Another nice thing is you can change the recovery menu color. On an old PSP like the 1000 I prefer blue and on the newer PSPs I prefer green. You can even exit the recovery menu with pressing select. So yeah, that's basically my little video about the Custom Farmer 6.20 LME 1.8. Currently, I'm waiting for the permanent patch, and I really, really want it so I can have full LME Custom Farmer at my PSP Go. I'm not sure if 
if you are interested, still interested in the PSP custom farmer stuff, but I really, really like this one. So I can have a full custom farmer at my PSP Go and still have my favorite custom farmer. I am the dad and see you soon. I forgot one little thing. Um, this is also, of course, available for the older PSPs. So you can have a 6.20 ME custom farmer. You see the PSP booted directly into the custom farmer. So, yeah. If you have an old PSP 1000 or 2000, you could possibly install the 6.20 ME custom farmer since the LMEs for the newer farmers, even though at the old custom. Uh, the old PSPs, I would recommend the 660 because it's newer. I'm the Zed and see you soon.